Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome. Starting a little bit later today, but you know, I think we'll go on a little bit longer as well. How are y'all today? Hope you're well. I am. I'm doing amazing, as always. <laughs> wow, so many of you guys here at the start. Wow, doing good. That's awesome to hear. It's the legend, the legend. <laughs> All right, let's play some Nomi. I'm. I'm excited to get started here today. We've got a lot to do as well. Doing great. Good stuff. Good stuff. Time for the egg hunt? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Those chickens are still around. Hey, Ivan. The song is called Rev by Evening Land. Pretty good track. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. We've got plenty to do today. I'm, um... What's up guys? What's up? Yeah, I'm curious about the audio. Let me know if there's any issues. I've be I have been messing with a little with a few of the settings, so I've All right, let's do this. Let's do this. So we got some machines moved over already. We got the microverse projectors in place, some EBFs. Music's a bit loud. Okay. Is that better? Oh, you know what? I think I had it double tracked. It's too quiet. I'll leave it at that in a second, just to let the chat catch up. Alright, so where do we start today? <laughs> oh, there's another chicken here. Another one. A wonderful world of audio, right? Yes. Tear up LV. I think we start where uh, where we left off here. So we started with the highest tier first. I think we're going to start on this line. I think... I had a brief look at this before the stream, actually. I think we got everything here. Besides this, but there's a, this is a duplicate, so I'm... Mm. We have to be careful not to crash the world, though, here... Let's make sure we don't have too much in here. 11,000. Yeah, that, that should be fine. <laughs> Tear down the reactors. I'm a little bit hesitant on that, actually. I think there's one or two more reactor materials we still need. So that will probably be one of the last things we take down. All this can go though. We have I added manual in already, right? I think we have Yeah, we have manual and solidified, we have night slime. Also being made in a chemical reactor somewhere. All this can be taken out here. So you're late, you're in the bus? Oh don't worry about it. We'll be here for a while, I think, so I know there'll be a lot of you guys just lurking about. That's totally cool. I hope everything is going to fit in the drives as well. Like I've, I've put so many things from drawers into drives. I haven't really looked at those to be honest since I started tearing everything out. Hmm. 
But I'm, what I'm, I'm really hoping that we can get onto some new stuff today. We should be able to though, right? There isn't that much more to do in terms of replacing stuff. Oh, that was <laughs> that was a lot of items. Look at this. You haven't been following for a while, no build this time. Not in this series, no. This was just. I I had a real uh, I had a um. What do you call it? An itch to scratch with Greg Deck <laughs> with the uh, Nomi Factory. I mean. And I think I've more or less satisfied that now. What is this? But no, next series we will be doing. Hopefully the best, the best base is the plan. Is the plan. <laughs> I really want to go outside my comfort zone in the next series as well. So we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens. What is this? Dilithium? Yeah, all this can go. Sneak peek? No, not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I think we're going to be finished Nomi in maybe by next week. It's going to be, it's really tough because the end, the end grind for the Chaos Shards is, is real. So it kind of depends how big, or, how good our infrastructure is. The plan for, the plan today Plan today is get to get all this cobblestone removed, but it's a bigger job than it first looks because we do have to replace a lot of the systems here. St sounds like a Pixelmon pack. <laughs> I played like I think maybe one of the originals, and I haven't played that since. But no, it's not. It's not going to be Pixelmon. So yeah, plan is to get all of this removed, transfer it up to the new base, and then we start to passive micro miners. What is this? Liquid EXP? Silicon rubber? I think we have silicon rubber. Let me just grab a bucket of this just to be safe. I, I just got done putting uh, buckets on passive, which is why they're all being used right now. Shows the drives. There's two more eggs. <laughs> we need an egg count for this stream. That's two. There's three. Oh, wow. Okay, there's still a few empty ones here, but we're, we're going to be fine for a while. Yeah, we may end up moving these things as well today. Can you share a new save? Yeah, actually, yeah, I will do that. I'll try to remember after the stream, but yeah. Yeah, all this could go. Famous last words? Yeah, that is famous last words. You know it for sure. <laughs> okay, what is this? Radon? I think we have that already. I added quantum stars. I didn't add quantum stars. I did quantum eyes though. Okay, let's pin quantum stars. Can you craft bigger drives? I don't think the 256 is in this. I don't think we have the extended cells. No, 64 is the highest, so you just have to spam a bunch of those ones. This is all silicon rubber, yeah, right? Yeah. So how are you guys finding Nomi? I know you. I know there's a few of you guys playing along as well. 
new versions come with 256 by default. I didn't know that. That's nice. That is really cool. It makes a lot of sense, though. Some of the numbers when you get into modded get kind of crazy, so it makes sense that there's a way for, for you to store that amount of items. Oops, that's not a filter. Wait a second, what is this? Uh, we should grab buckets of all this stuff, actually. Mm, where did I put buckets? I think it's over here. Yeah, give me a few buckets. <laughs> it's all being used to fill these drawers for water and lava buckets here. How full is a tier 8 ball? Let's check. It's probably still got 3,000 years. 4,000 years! <laughs> it's went up! Yeah, I guess there's more drain in our system now. That thing ain't getting filled until we have Creative RF. And even then, still. Hey, Soul. Yeah, let's get a bucket of all of these things, just in case. And then we're safe to tear it down. Curium. Wait, was that? Yeah, that's a duplicate. Neptunium. Uranium. Plutonium. Americium. I guess that's more americium. It's okay. We have extra. Cryothium, we'll take a bucket of this. I think all the neon gases we already have. Right? Yeah, I added solidifiers for those already. Any mod pack you recommend without GT? Um, Divine Journey. Divine Journey is, it really is. Uh, a well-designed mod pack, I would say. Okay, what is around this side? Lithium. Do we have lithium? We do have lithium. Okay. That's a lot of items. <laughs> oh man, so many things, so many things we set up here. What's this? Yeah, more of the same. Rainbow tablet grinding simulator? Well, no, that's just going to Mars though. Unless they maybe nerfed that, I'm not sure. I remember spending hours in the Mars dungeons looking for those tablets. But I think they made it they made the change to uh what is it, flying ointment? That bewitchment item that was the huge, huge bottleneck when I played. I think it has like some sort of easier recipe. I don't know if it's EMC able or something. Okay, what have we got over here? Soul sand? This can go. All these can go. Personally not a fan of exploration. Yeah, I can see that. It's not everybody's cup of tea. What do I think of Project Ozone 3? I watched a couple of people play it. I watched um, Hypnotize play it back in the day. I mean, it wasn't that long ago. I think it was like three years ago? Could be wrong. Maybe, maybe less. I really enjoyed his playthrough of that, though. And of course, I watched Karak's 82 play that as well. Oh, 
Okay, what have we got? Do we need power? Oh no. Okay. Do we need these wafers? Nano we use for cubit, we use for crystal processors, but these are the third tier sixes and we have the last tier. But yeah, we don't need these ones. Pretty sure we don't need power ICs either. Yeah, that's the first seven. The second six. I think it's just socks and ASOCs at this point. Getting my socks and ASOCs. You can make immersive wires in the sawmill? <gasps> oh, finally. It's about time they added that thing. Or added that recipe. Hey, Hucking. It's going good, it's going good. Okay, what are we got? I'm just going to leave these drawers, honestly, right now. We'll come back to those at the end. Coming up on EV soon? Nice. Hey, player. Hypno was the reason you played Minecraft in 2012. Yep, I, I think I watched Hypno back then as well. Maybe it was like a little bit later I got into his videos, but... I was definitely watching the Minecraft guys back then. You need to play Dungeons Dragons Space Shuttles. I don't think there's a, there's many people on YouTube who actually played that pack, right? I know Asgard had a series. I think maybe Dire Wolf also played it. I'm not sure. Minecraft, the good old days. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Wow, are we at the end of the line already? Interesting. Dyer would not fare well, he uses too many export bosses and crafting cards. No crafting cards here. Actually, that's not true, is it? That's not true, we, we do technically use crafting cards here, but not, <laughs> not for crafting. Right, is that us? I think we got everything here. Just the drawers left, which is good. This is good. This we're going to come back to later. We're going to do the easy stuff to begin with, actually. Like, ripping out all of this stuff. Uh, wait a sec, do we need that power line? I guess this powers the reactors, but these are turned off. So these can probably go to the, yeah, so we don't need this line here. I wish the conduits were thicker. Like, the, <laughs> it's so hard to click on these things. Vault Hunter Skyblock? I've heard a bit about that pack, actually. Oh, 
Oh, these drives are for sure filling up today. You know what? Let's order like a few more 64Ks right now. Like 30? Can we get 30? Nope. Wait. We definitely should have those recipes in. Unless I just forgot to plug machines in again. In the cotton machine? It should be here. Is this just not connected anywhere? Wait. Why don't we have the recipes for these things? Are they in here? No. There's only a few here. Oh, you know what? This was the this is what was on the radon. Aha, we have to add those back. Interfaces were off were they? Oh you're right. Ah, yeah, all of these are offline. Hold on. Something's being disconnected here. Oh, there's egg number four. And egg number five. This doesn't make any sense. Why is this not powered? Oh, I see. It's this line here. This is the connection. Aha, it's because we disconnected right here. I see. We got it, we got it, we got it. I think we'll just connect it back up where it was. There we go. Now let's craft 30 of these things, yeah. Should move your panels and drives, yeah, I think we're going to get to that. I should have been doing this a long time ago. <laughs> oh, not that. And we lost some conduits, that's alright. What is this? Why is there aluminium wire here? Eight thousand polymer clay? That's nothing. Lag? No, no lag. Is the stream lagging? I don't think we've dropped any frames.
Okay, we can also rip this envy line out. Actually, we should start at the bat at the bottom, just because it's connected over there. Just in case there's anything we have to keep plugged in. Okay, what is this? Water and lava buckets. These can go. We have these replaced already. What was this? Lapis cooler? No, these are only reactor parts. We don't need this anymore. We won't be building any more fission reactors. So this can go. The spacesuit. We don't need this anymore. Good bite. What is this? An empty assembly machine? See ya. Sulfuric acid. Hmm. We do need these for empowered Restonia. Oh boy. Unless we can fluid solidify. Well then. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy knowing that we can just fluid solidify now. Okay, let's get one of each. Before we tear this stuff down. Oh, cells of water. Shouldn't have done that before crafting them. How to open that GUI? I think it's exclusive to Trousers Edition. But you just hold, you just press your recipe button and it should show up. Okay, so there's six of these things, right? Void, Emeradic, Alice, Anori. Estonia. The Amatine. One, two, three, six. Six block molds. And fluid tanks. And we find space in the drawer wall, preferably somewhere with uh, compacting drawers already. Here is fine. Set all the outputs. Block mold in each, actually. Uh huh. I think we also have to add the rotor recipes for these. Set the output directions. Egg number five. <laughs> All right. Done. Oh, is it number six? Did I miscount? Oh, is it six? <laughs> I'm glad you guys are counting. Okay, I don't think we need cells of sulfuric acid anymore, right? It's only used in this, yeah. Goodbye. See you later, alligator. What is this? Another empty assembly machine? Um, Argon and Helium. I think this is for the same use. Yep. Ciao. Why don't you start some long crafting like the tier 9 mission? You know, I, I was thinking about that. Like, 
Maybe we should just start to send some tier 7s. Just... Like, can we craft two of these things? Oh, th this is the recipe I just removed. Of course it is. <laughs> like, in theory, we should still have all the infrastructure in place now. And we're not losing anything by doing this. We're only making up time, so really, that's it's actually not such a bad idea. But yeah, we do have to add both of these items in. Hold on, let's get to up to where Epoxy is, and then we'll do that. Solder and Alloy, I don't think we have that. No, we don't, but we do have a bucket, so... I don't know if we need the ingot for anything. Polarizers. Polarizers we do definitely need. I can't believe we're still doing this in... What is this, MV? Although, that said, there isn't that many magnetic rods that we need, right? It's just, like, steel. There's neodymium. I guess this recipe list will tell us. Yeah, iron, neodymium, steel, and... Iron? I guess there's two neodymium here for some reason. But you know what? We're just going to passive these. Uh, polarizers, do we have those at IV? Or LUV? Yeah. We only need three. Okay, so these are gonna go over here somewhere. And find a space on the end. We need some conveyors. Where did my screwdriver go? There it is. They can be solidified. This is why you guys are here. Hold on. <laughs> they can be solidified. Are you sure? Or do you mean the ingots can be solidified as as magnetic neodymium? Yeah. Is this faster though? The solidifier thing is trivial, right? This is one second at ULV. We have to lay the either way though. So it's either the lathe or the polarizer, right? So lathe is 14 seconds. And to polarize, it's 0 0.8 seconds. Although I guess there is also the rod, which is 14. Mm, no, I think you guys are right, actually. We do save a tiny amount of time doing it the magnetic way. Okay. Let's do that instead then. Yeah, we have to make the rod either way. Doesn't really make much difference. Oh, uh, which one did we have? Neodymium iron. Steel. This also means we'll have to move it onto one of the middle ones. Because we only have one slot free, so we have to have a middle if we want to import fluids. We'll do EV stuff. Might as well. Oops. Okay, so this one is steel. 
Wait, what am I doing? These are polarizers. Yeah, what am I doing here? <laughs> we need to solidify these first, to then import the ingots. There we go. Does GTCE not directly let you solidify the rod? I don't think so. No. Rods you have to either extrude separate or polarize after you have the the rod itself or but yeah you have to lay the ingot first it looks like yeah Wrong machines. I'm. Li I'm. <laughs> what am I doing here? This is polarizers. We're trying to polarize. Oh my. This should be. Okay, we're gonna fix this. <laughs> we're gonna fix this, hold on. One more lathe. Ingot mold. Now three drawers. And one more just to connect it to the controller. There, that took way too long. <laughs> okay, sorted. Am I using the old mic? Yes, I am. Okay, what is this carbon? This thing will go. We got there in the end, didn't we? <laughs> okay. This can all be removed now. Macerator? We don't have a macerator yet. Don't need this. What was this? Tin? Turn on the stream, turn off the brain. Exactly. Oh wait, I needed that pattern.
I don't know what that was, but uh, we're gonna have to re-encode that. Okay, let's do this in a PA. Did I put drawer upgrades? I didn't. I've keep meaning to do that. In fact, I have them crafted here. Got 999 exactly. There's too many things to do. Let's do this PA first though. Do we have any empty space? We got, we got this one here. Power is trivial at this point. I mean, it is kind of. But we're going to start running out very soon. Oh hey, we got 10 IVs here. Let's get the other 6. Ivy will do fine. Oh, the bot is back already. So many bots these days. Okay, let's test this out once. Let's order like some flukes dust. Instant. <laughs> I love it. Okay, what else are we going to do here? Drilling fluid, lubricant, seed oil. Yeah, we got lubricant already. Let's grab some seed oil. Not that we actually need it, but... Hey. Egg? Do we get another egg? Okay, let's add these um, quantum stars and supercharged laser relays. Laser arrays, I mean. Oh, this does mean passive craft and advanced craft. That's not something we're going to get to right now because that's a rabbit hole. We'll set up the chemical reactor for it anyway. And this we can easily passive. So we need a chemical bath, preferably a LUV actually. Let's make one LUV. Okay, uh, chemical reactor. That was pretty fast for an LUV chemical reactor. <laughs> okay, let's think about where we're placing this first. These are both LUV. That is a ZPM line right there. Here will do.
think we already have Raid on in one of the interfaces back there. Need some conveyors. Let's actually craft some more of these things. Import. Yeah, we need nether stars in chemical bath. Okay. And supercharged laser rays in here. What are they called? Mining lasers. Hey, Daniel. But yeah, since we don't... I keep... <laughs> Every time I teleport here, I get next to this armor stand, and I think it's someone standing next to me. We do need a recipe for this one. I always get spun around here. Where am I going? Here. No. Here. We have to... Oh, I guess we have to allow in... Yeah. We'll have to allow input from output side right now. And I'm going to place this here, so I remember to change that. It should work, right? Check your ME system again. Oh, egg number eight. Give it a few more drives. Okay, did that finish the craft? Almost. Why oh, you know I put? Hello? How long did it t get you to this point of knowing enough to easily breeze through a pack like this? Uh, I I was thinking about this uh, like last week. Someone asked me, like, how much, how many hours on modded Minecraft do you have? And I think. I think for sure it's over 2,000 in the last two years. Set it to unfiltered. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what that's what the problem is. Wait, what did I just do there? How come it's back in the input slot now? You know what? Do that instead. Yeah, there we go, it worked. Yeah, it's the conveyor, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, 
What's the goal of the pack? The goal of the pack is creative vending. Wherever it is. Creative vending, yeah, this thing. And it gets quite crazy. Like, each one, like, yeah. You click any recipe here, you're going to get, like, a million different things. <laughs> like, even just creative RF source gets kind of crazy. Like, it just keeps going. Like, all this stuff. Creative energy cell, yeah, all these quantum cores, they just keep going all the way down. This is the reason why we're building up so much infrastructure right now. Yeah, look at this. Can't fluid solidify all this stuff. Which is why I'm I'm trying to uh, like slow down here and build up infrastructure. Miner's time? Oh yeah, that's right. Let's send like two tier sevens at a time. Yep. Okay, what is this? Epoxy? Okay, is there anything else we here we actually need? Bone meal calcium. Pyrite, I don't think we use this for anything. Yeah, this was all for fluids. We don't need any of this anymore. Oh, it's so satisfying to do this. Just tear out everything. Even though it took me hours to set this up the first time. <laughs> do I even care about any of these filters? Enough to empty them, that is. I guess. It's flux bore time. How do you keep self motivated to play? That's actually a really good question. It's a really good question. I think the best way to do it is not to force yourself to play and to have goals in your world. So don't just go in like, or maybe you do, maybe you just want to finish the pack. But that's quite a broad goal, like try to think about things more specific to that. Obvi like making videos also motivates me quite a bit. So maybe if you're if you're struggling for motivation, maybe try to share your stuff or I don't know, maybe post on Reddit or Discords. Or YouTube, maybe start a series. And unless you get insanely lucky, nobody is gonna nobody is gonna watch you in the beginning. I remember making the first I don't know, hundred videos and they would get nothing. <laughs> and I'm still not that big of a that big of a channel. Yeah, we lost an endervar there. But yeah, we just we keep going every day. The main thing that keeps me going is just I enjoy it too much. Do I edit all of my own videos? Yes, I do. That takes up a, a huge portion of time every day. Big enough? Yeah, I'm big enough, yeah. I'm not doing this for views or for clicks or whatever. Otherwise you would see hardcore Minecraft on my channel and you're <laughs> you're almost certainly never going to see that. At least not from me. But no, I, I yeah, really if you're struggling for motivation, try to think of something specific to do. Maybe you want to build something or Challenge yourself in some, maybe do a challenge run or a speed run. By the way, this is not a speed run. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm not even looking at what I'm tearing down here now. Hydrochloric acid. Nah, we don't need any of these fluids. I'm 
not a speed run. <laughs> nope. Yeah, the drawers we leave here right now. I lost the flux board there. It's so hard to click these conyas. 100 days survival in, in GTNH. <laughs> no, the drowned creepers would definitely get me there. That would be a very short video. If there's a timer on screen, it's a, a speed run. Yeah, you could argue that, I guess. That thing makes me nervous every time I glance down there. I don't know if you guys have watched any of this, any of the new meta speedruns on Minecraft though. Like some of the strategies are kind of genius. I'm not gonna lie. Have I ever played Factorio? Yes, I've played Factorio. I got all the achievements in that game. That's a great game. Honestly though, these days I don't play anything other than Minecraft. Chlorine? Do we have a bucket of chlorine? Yes, we do. We don't need this. Okay, we're getting there. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay, polyvinyl chloride. We have. And I, to be honest, I don't think we need any more. It was just for the early tier circuits, right? Yeah, solo war we don't need. Have I entered the nether? We actually haven't been to the nether yet. <laughs> no nether. It's available, you can make the cake for it. It's a good way to get early glowstone, but it's not necessary in this pack. What is this, sulfuric acid? Oh, you know what? We actually need these resonators. Okay. I think we do need polyethylene sheets though, right? Yeah, they're used in patterns. We definitely need polyethylene sheets. Let's add those. There's egg number eight. There's absolutely no use for that stuff, but it's more it's more hassle to avoid it than to just store it and make more drives. It should also be a regular drawer.
There we go. <laughs> Talk about decadent, yeah, exactly. That's basically the stage we're at right now. Ethylene? We don't need this. We need to figure out something to do with, with all these drawers, so... All this stuff we don't need. Grains of Infinity as well, yeah. We do need that. So much stuff here. Three, what did you do here? Oh, I did not mean to do that. That's going to go right there. Hey, Crystal Craft, you just joined. Welcome. Hi, Matthew. Oh, lots of you are just joining. Oh, have you missed? We, you missed eggs. <laughs> no, we're just trying to clean up the old areas of the base here and then hopefully get onto. Oh man, what a mess. Hopefully, get onto some new stuff today. Why did I put the infinity dust block? Just to remind myself, because we have to, uh, we have to add those back to storage. And the storage, I have no idea where it's going to go yet. Do I mostly play Minecraft? I exclusively play Minecraft. Unless you count maybe, I don't know, Type Racer or something as a game. That's about it. Have I tried other games? Of course I've tried other games. I I don't know about switching other games on the channel though. A few people have asked me to play Factorio and things like that, but I think we're going to keep it Minecraft for the most part. Okay. What to do first here? Circuit boards or all these dusts? There's not really much easy stuff. I mean, I guess we can remove this. Let's do that first. Procrastinate a bit more. Oh, dense ore processing. Oh, we have to get this set up. Yep. We do have to set this up. Let's get a ZPM chemical reactor for this. Just kidding, maybe not. <laughs> We're missing already in rotors, but I took the solidifier away for that. Intentionally. 
so that we could add the, the molds for everything when we came across it. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Block mold. No, not block mold, rotor mold. Look for a space somewhere. Here we'll do. Okay, ZPM chemical reactor. Oh, our microminer still hasn't finished crafting even. Have I played Roblox? I have never played Ro Roblox. I know it's a very popular game though. Okay, so we need an, an interface here. Maybe two interfaces, to be honest. Yeah, we want this on the ZPM line right here. We don't have nitric acid either, so we have to go and get that. Oh, there's another egg. That's nine. Add it here. Where did I put that thing? Here. Interface on the side. And we also need one more on the bottom. We can't put these into drawers because there's a few different types of densor. Um, conveyor. Nope, that's the wrong way. This has to be the conveyor, this has to be the pump. There we go. You're gonna output to this interface here. Okay, so we want all the dense ores here, right? Dense redstone. Dense diamond. Dense lapis. Dense emerald. Roblox has over 2.5 million games. To be honest, I don't really know how it works. I've never, I, I'm not familiar with the whole scene. Okay, so this means we can tear down all of this as well. And one other thing we may have to set up is actually ore processing, again in PAs. I don't know if that's going to be necessary or not. We'll see. Especially for the diamonds and things because that can't be fluid solidified and we need a lot of diamonds later.
since I mentioned type racer, what's my words per minute? It's somewhere like 94, 95. Nothing too, nothing special. Like kind of 86 is more like a more realistic average. 86 to 90. Yours is like 30. <laughs> yeah, two finger typer. There's the other egg. Hey, what happened? Wait. What? I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> okay, moving on. Oil distillation can go. See ya. I feel like TNT would be a lot of fun here. Should we TNT this place? <laughs> I don't know how effective that would be though. And we would probably end up making more mess than we already have. TNT for the stream. Nuke it. No, we're not nuking it. We have important stuff up here. Oh yeah, our little fluid subnet. Oh, drives are full. Drives are full. I think we're full on types here. Maybe? Wait. These ones are empty. Or is it just we can't put fl filled fluid discs in here? To be honest, we could probably just void it. Might as well add the rest. Ah, oh, I get, yeah, I guess you can put it in there, Phil. No, you don't often, it's not something that you do very often, but you learn something new every day, so. Why do you think, guys, why do you think Minecraft is less popular in Roblox? I have no, no idea. I think Roblox has been around longer, right? I'm not sure on that, honestly. Okay, what have we got here? Sulfur?
Oh boy, here we go. Okay, we have to do all these circuit words again. I think. We're actually out of these ones. Right, we do need these ones for tier 1s. Yes, we do. Okay, we can do this. We can do this in a very, very short amount of time. Let's get some PAs for all of these. So there's four boards. Let's get four ZPM energy inputs. That's UV. channel has grown so much that live chat has arguments. It's constructive discussion. Okay, we need some superconductors here. There. CEFs at ZPM. Oh. Then silicon rubber. Oh, we don't even have cluster mills. Okay. Wow, that's an expensive machine. That's a, that's slightly unnecessary for a cluster mill. No, not 12. Let's make two. Two or three. Do we have polyvinyl chloride sheets? No, is the answer. Okay, we need one of those. We, we need a solidifier for that first. There's egg number 11. <laughs> I think we have more single drawers over here somewhere. Egg number 12. Okay, let's add the cluster mill over here. LUV. That there, polyvinyl chloride. Exquisite. Oh, output. Nice. Okay, what were we doing again? I forgot the whole reason we even needed those things. Oh yeah, the PAs. How's it going, April? Yes, CEFs at ZPM. Um, um, <laughs> did I forget the storage bus? Maybe.
Silicon rubber sheets, that's polyvinyl chloride. Well, good thing we made two cluster mills then. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We need them both anyway. It's called planning ahead. They're fixed. <laughs> and I think it was clay because of the the conduit binder, right? PVC PE close enough. Yeah, close enough. They're both plastics. Uh yeah, I think it's conduit binder, but we can switch out this drawer with a compacting drawer. I think I used the last piece of tape as well. You know what, while we're here, let's just... Might as well switch the rest out. I didn't think about these being compacting drawers before. I haven't played with Ender IO in so long. And Ender IO is one of the... One of the all-time best Minecraft mods, right? Has to be, has to be up there. I don't know why I'm breaking these twice. We could have just broken them in place. Just max upgrade these. Uh, actually, no, not for the cloth rates. That was probably unnecessary. Okay, four CEFs, please. There we go. Imagine doing polymer clay again. Not, we're not ever doing that again. That's the very last time you'll see me set up. Well, I don't want to say that. Definitely in this series. I'm not setting it up again. Wait, I had all these at UV. Mm, yeah. We should just run them at UV, saving us upgrading them later. Yeah. Remember to switch the energy hatches. I don't want to jump scare myself. Okay, so now we just have to set up some PAs, which is easy. Access interfaces. Make 10 of these.
Could build these with my eyes closed now. Let's do it down. Three down. Have I ever played Doom? I have played Doom. Doom is a great game. Not really my style though. I'm not really that into FPS games. Song is a banger. It is indeed. The tune. Okay, so we need, I think, three input buses for each. No, two input buses. Two items in and one fluid in, i.e. sulfuric acid. So... Come on, crafting. Now this flight control unit keeps getting stuck and I have no idea why. Oh. There's egg number 12. I think it's 12. Yeah, we're missing EXP. I just didn't add it to these blue tanks here. There's another one. Another chicken. Yeah, fixed it. It's fine. Oops. Ah. Oh, I don't have sulfuric acid. Wrench them all. Okay, so now two input buses for each. And an output bus. And then just some interfaces. These are all done in chemical reactors though, right? That's going to be a lot of chemical reactors. What's the time on these things? 25 seconds at LV. 5 seconds at HV. Does anyone have the overclocking calculator on them? Metal 1 is not on output mode. Yes, you're right. The input hatch technically pulls the fluids anyway. At least in this version it does. First time catching the streams? Welcome. Welcome. Glad you could be here. Isn't it nice not having to wait three seconds? Yeah, that's one of the first things I noticed when I when I switched over here. It's all maxed at ZPM. Remember, it's a 2.8x overclock. I think. Oh no, it's not. It's a 2x overclock because it's 10 EU a tick. Honestly, I think IV is going to be fine for all of these. Plus, they're going to be passive, yeah, so we'll just do IV for them all. Let's get a stack of IV chemical reactors.
Also, these should really be storage drawers. Yeah. That's not where I wanted that. There. Okay, so starting with plastic. Plastic boards, we need copper foil and polyethylene sheets. Polyethylene sheets we have. My goodness, I can't type. So that goes here. Copper foil, though, I don't think we have. Copy? Copper foil, we do not have. Okay, let's pin that one. Wait, how can we put 64 in here? I guess it doesn't have a limit, but the limit is actually 16. <sighs> Series has been blowing your mind? Yeah, that's that's great tech for you. <laughs> yeah, I guess it doesn't limit it, but the limit is actually 16. Okay. Okay, so we have copper foil pinned. We need to we need to pass of that. Polyethylene we don't need. Next one is epoxy. We need epoxy sheets. We also don't have and copper foil again. Guess we're out now. How much faster do you think the pack would be at the start if you had Creative Tank? Oh, I would cut like 10 episodes out at least. Fiber reinforced. Okay. Estimate on how long it takes to finish at this point. Um, I would say like, I would say at least a week, at least a week from here. Maybe pushing two weeks, but yeah, we're, we're quite close to the end, all things considered. But the NC fuels, how many centrifuges do you need? I assume you mean thermal centrifuges, and for that you need 92. Two EVs. Or the PA equivalent. Uh, yeah, let's filter the last one, which is multi layer. It's these things, right? Yes, but it's these, the green boards is the input. And electron foil we need. Which we also don't have. Okay. So we're actually only missing three items for this. And to set the drawer here.
That's going to be in the cluster mill. Get two more of these. And... We do have some epoxy resin stored. That's nice. Okay, let's find a space. Very good, that's that one off the list. Now we need... All oh, right, we need electron plates and copper plates. I don't think we have those yet, right? That's annealed copper. Guess we don't even have those. Are you willing to share any info on the new series? Not yet, not yet. Focus right now is on Nomi. <clears throat> There we go. So now just two more cluster mills. There's egg number 13. Oh, that's what happens when you go too fast. These aren't... <laughs> These are LUV. Oh man, that could have been so much worse. That's copper, this is electrum. There we go. <laughs> it's cool the chicken survived. Yeah, at least he survived. I solidified annealed copper, did I? I did. I totally did. <laughs> well, those are getting left. We're just going to add copper. Who knows? Maybe we need maybe we need uh Anil's copper. <laughs> it's called planning ahead, right? That's totally what we just done there. There we go. <clears throat> Do I need more coffee? I've already had two today, so no, I don't. <laughs> there we go.
green boards are empty, I assume, because of copper foil and the fact that it's missing machines. Copper foil, fiber reinforced, that comes from here. Okay, this is going to do 16 recipes at a time as well because it's in the PA. So why are you not running? Oh, you are running. Why are you not running? Oh. This is a fluid solidifier recipe. How many hours will the stream be? Many, many hours. I don't know yet, but I think we're going to go a bit longer today, to be honest. I want to get quite a bit done. I don't want to retread this the same ground on video again. Are those PAs on ZPM? They're fed by UV power. Oh, here's, here's what I'm looking for. They're fed with UV power, but they have IV machines. Wow, that was so quick. Now you should be running? Yeah, nice. Excellent. I assume these are all going to this one. Yeah. Okay. How much stuff did we do today? Uh, we made a mess. <laughs> we made a bit of a mess here. Do we need raw carbon fibers again? No, I guess we don't. Okay, so all this can go. Let's grab a bucket of phosphoric acid, just in case. Well, I don't think we actually need it. Oh, we already have a creative tank here. Okay, is there anything here that we need? Silver, gold, copper... Black, bronze... Oh, we're gonna have to make black, bronze, right? For black steel, for red steel... For Ardite, for Lumi for Signalum, yeah. Hmm, and we need Luminescence as well. Let's start with luminescence because that is that's quite easy. We actually need a robot arm here because it's two items and an item filler. Aluminium dust and the blend, whatever it's called, energetic blend. We want this one. Keep exact. Hello? There's egg number 14 and 15. There we go, plenty of luminescence. There's so many different tools in this that so you need, you're constantly swapping hotbars, it's... There we go.
Hi, Nikita. Send some tier 7s. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Oh. Grains of Infinity. Well, we have to hook these back up to our system somehow. Wait, this isn't what we wanted. Wait, no. Wait, how do I uncom- oh, there we go. Which ender chest was it, though? Was it this one? Oh, you know what? I think I messed up here. Oh, you, oh, hold on. I think it's down here for grains. Want to make sure I'm in the right chunk. I think I unloaded this a while ago, actually. So we haven't been producing grains of infinity for who knows how long. It's weird that they're all the way out here, though. Yeah, let's make sure we chunk load this again. Hello. <laughs> yep, bunk, bunk. Bunk. There's egg number 15. Okay, so now I think we are safe to rip all this out. 16. 17. 18. We do need to make all these dusts again though. Oh man. What's around the other side? Rocket fuel, we should definitely grab that if we don't have it already. We've got it already, okay. Chloramine, dimethylamine. Ammonia, we don't need this. Methanol, yeah. Goodbye. Okay, now send this to your seven. Yeah, good point, good point. For data. And another one just to be... Oh, what is it now? Flux crystals? Oh, talk about distractions. We have, like, tons of flux crystals here. It's just because I think they're disconnected right now. Okay, let's send two more tier 7s. Thanks for the reminder, by the way. This is actually going to be a huge time save. Later. At this stage where things are free and unlimited for you, even if you miss something, would it be crucial? A few things, yes, actually it would be. Most things though, if we miss it, we can just add it easily with the fluid solidifiers and we'll catch up the buffers in no time. But there is things like, um, 
I'm trying to think of an example, like wetware. Or stem cells. That's actually a good point. How much dragon eggs? How many dragon eggs do we have? Okay, that's good. That's that's good. I'm also going to increase the buffer here on dragon scales. There's egg number 19. 20. Hello, chicken. Do we need this for anything else? Dragon layer data? I think we can make this way. Right? I think we'll still limit it. We'll put it to like 50k. Yeah, that's a good point. And red coal as well. We need to get red coal set up. Yes, red coal. You're right. You're right. Oh, you know what? This micro miner mission thing is still here. I think we... Let's not rip it out just yet. Yeah, we can start at this end, though. This is going to be so many filters. Look at all the filters. <laughs> oh, this took hours. You know one thing else, one thing I am really tired of is the rain. We need a, a what is it called? Not a weather ob obelisk. What's that thing called from Draconic Evolution? This thing, the Celestial Manipulator. Oh, cost of wiring core. Again, distracted repeat repeatedly is a required quality of every YouTuber. Correct. <laughs> oh, these things these things stick forever. We need to improve our draconic crafting. I don't think it's stock, right? It's not stock. No, it's crafting. What's this? Force for acid? Actually, I did say we were going to leave that line in, right? Yeah, the crafting card thing can be okay if you use it in subnets or for some very basic crafts. Or so I'm told anyway. I don't know from experience because I never use them. Just out of principle. <laughs> in fact, we even threw them in the fire in GTNH when we got them from the quest reward. But yeah, generally, I mean, there's always ways to avoid using them, so I just use the other way instead.
Luminescence, perfect. We got that already. Gypsum, we don't ever need. That's probably going to get voided. Oh, there's egg number 21. Oh boy, all these dusts. 22. Why not let the interface pull the item back? I mean, yeah, that's... Yeah, we could have done that, to be honest, but it's slower. Okay, I ha we have to stop messing about here and actually <laughs> do these dusts again. And I think we... I think the easiest way to start this is with something like black bronze, black steel. There's 23. So we need um a mixer. First of all, let's stop this rain. Oh, it needs RF, of course. Uh, I guess stop rain on redstone. Yeah, that should work, right? Whenever it rains. Okay. Oh yeah, can we fluid solidify these things? I didn't even think about that. You might have just saved... Oh, you're a genius. Leafy? <laughs> you are a genius. I would have totally went down that rabbit hole. Oh, I already melted it. Need a space, there's 23. Where's the compacting drawers? Black steel done. Called it? Yep, you called it. Alright, well then, what is the other one? Black bronze? Yes, black bronze. Actually, let's get the rest here. No, the re no. Actually, these ones we can't. Blue steel we can though. Blue steel, rose gold, titanium we have. Diamond dust we can't. Black bronze, yeah. Black steel, we have blue steel. Oh, apparently I added already. Black bronze. We need a blast furnace for this. We need a blast furnace and a vacuum freezer, which is not something that we have right now. I don't know if these are plugged in or not. No, is the answer. <laughs> uh, let's get a CEF. Do you run? Oh, 
Oh, this is probably going to make um, nether stars if we give it... There we go. Alright, what about rose gold? Is this the same? Yeah, but it just gives us the regular ingot. Someone jumped the gun, yep. Just a touch there. That's what I wanted to be careful to avoid. That was that old neodymium that we had earlier on. There we go. Is it plausible to farm Nomi coins? That strategy is actually very interesting. It can be, yeah. Yeah, Jesse's right there. You got the... Um, Oh, I forgot the name of the block. The bounty board, that's right. Where you can turn in various components and they give you coins. What is this, silicon rubber? Down beauty to dying rubber, we don't need this. But yeah, I believe the strategy is actually viable early game. Oh boy, do we do this? That's going to be so many dusts. So many dusts. Most of which I think we'll have to set up again, but it, that that's very easy to do, so I'm not worried about missing one or two of those. Okay, so we have to set these up again, right? Do we need these for anything? Yes, we do, because we need mana dust to make Flux Electrum and to make mana infused. Which means, yes, we need to set these up again. Okay, there should be a there should be an easy way of doing this if we work smart here. Let's grab one of one stack of each of these rods. Make sure we're on the LUV line. Did I not grab enough conveyors? Four. It can be fluid solidified. Can it? I don't think so. There is a liquid version, yes, you're right, but there's no solidifier recipe, right? I do want to make sure, though. But from what I recall, there is not for these. It's worth checking, though, I think. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be.
a souls blitz Liz please Okay, very good. Now we need to set up our crafters here. Blizz, Blitz. Blaze, Basols. All of them need redstone. And we'll grab the rest as needed. So, Basols, redstone. Obsidian dust is not something that we have right now. Let's actually pin that. City and dust. Liz is snowballs, I remember this. This one is salt pier. Which is also not something that we have. And redstone. Last one is blaze. With sulfur. Okay, good. Snowball, saltpeter, sulfur, obsidian. Don't ask me how you know that. <laughs> it's one of those things that you don't really forget. Like, silly little recipes like that, that, like, you only come across every now and then, but... Oh, it looks like I missed a few devices here. Okay, are we making obsidian yet? I don't know if we are actually. No, we're not, but there is... I think we have some obsidian down here. Oh, right, yeah, of course, it's from lava. Of course. Pulverizer to turn it into dust. Let's get 10. That's the ivy line. That's the that's the ZPM line. I think we have to stack these one higher, to be honest. We'll put it here. Love the videos. Thank you, Ralph. Don't forget to turn the vacuum freezer liquid input back on. Didn't I turn that back on? Also, our fuel generator here is stuck. Oh. Oh no, is it just slow or is it actually stuck? Oh no. I'm sure I turned this back on, right? I did. Okay, we're good there. Now then, why is this stuck?
We have to, I think, find which assembly line it's in. Not that one. How do we find this? There it is. Okay, so why you no work? Fluid inputs are full. 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve inputs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. Um, can we make these one longer? I think I, I think I seen a comment from Mike that you can make these one longer. Second fluid input was empty. I think it was styrene butadiene rubber. Yeah, it has styrene butadiene rubber. I'm sure we can move these forward a few blocks. I may have crafted a few too many solid steel machine casings. <laughs> oh no, don't tell me this one is stuck as well. Oh no, where did I put that thing? I just recently moved this as well and I think it's a recipe conflict. Maybe? Has to be IV, that's what it is. Oh hey, we have 14 here. There we go, fixed. Problem solved. Because of the two different circuits, you can't do all recipes in a single assembly line. I'm sure someone did comment, unless I maybe misunderstood. We'll try with one, we're not going to do them all, if it doesn't work. We need to test this for science. Let's see if it forms here. Is it this? No, okay. Oh wait. I missed a block in there. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, there's egg number 27. Aha, it does form. Well, in that case, let's do them all.
Last time you played it was 16. I thought it was 16 as well. I was under the impression it was 16, which is why they were this length to begin with, but... I think it was Mike, one of the developers of Nomi, commented on the video. Which is why I wanted to try it here. So many clicks today. So many clicks. Want to cause problems with the chunks? It's already over the chunk boundary. It's already here. It's going to be fine. Oh, hey, Floor. I'm doing excellent today. How are you? Okay, these have all formed, right? Yeah. All we need to do now is add one more laser onto this. Oh, wait, this one was just missing a laser. Oh. Well, it was just misconfigured, but I guess they all still can still shuffle up one block, and that allows us to craft the one with the 17 input. Or the 13 input, I mean. Yeah, and that should have sent our tier 7. Let's get another two of these sent. I completely lost what we were doing there. <laughs> what were we doing before we got distracted with that? Obsidian dust. And saltpeter. How do we get saltpeter? Is it DML that's the only way? Just wanted to pop in and say hi. Probably wind up watching the VOD later, you know, it's the stream while you're in the office. Oh, it's John. Ah, welcome to the stream. <laughs> of course, I recognize you. Enjoy the VOD later on. And that's two more chicken to add to our collection.
Okay, obsidian dust. Like cooking red coal? Yes, that's a good point. Obsidian? Red Call is next. Hey Alphonse. Yes, we do need at least three or four resonators for this. Let's clean out the inventory a bit. Uh huh. Sorry you post so much, so many comments, such long comments. Oh, don't worry about that. I enjoy reading about other people's progress, so keep them coming. Yeah, it's nice to share your progress in, in Nomi. Or in any, any, any mod pack, really. Yeah, where are we going to place this? Where is this going to go? Metis, I knew you were going to say something about that. <laughs> as soon as I saw those. Where do we put these? Uh, let's do it over here and we'll put all the RF machines up here as well. Yeah, near the crafters, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so slow to break. But that's exactly what I was just doing, wait. I do want to get a few more, at least, at least two more. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we may as well hook up a permanent home for these guys. goes through the middle right here. This is going to get coal. Pay for speed upgrades? Yeah, we're going to do that right now. Round robin on. Okay, good. Now then, can we actually make the next year of speed upgrade? 
Oh, we need apples. We don't have apples. I really don't fancy going out for apples right now. <laughs> I think we're just going to stick these basic speed upgrades in. Fully upgrade it at least. Yep. Yeah, I remember I remember being short on apples before. We're gonna have to switch to oak trees or something. Actually, you know what? Maybe we just do that right now. What do we what do we need rubber for at this point? Like We don't need any of this stuff, right? We can fluid solidify all the rubber. So yeah, you know what? Let's get it. Let's switch to apples. Or oh, there's no apple tree, is there? No. have to remember to add drawers for all this as well. So oak saplings, I don't think we have any apples to set the drawer even. There's an upgrade that allows you to hold infinite amounts of stuff. Wait, you're talking about the... The creative storage upgrade, this thing. Yep, not happening. <laughs> Not happening. That's what we need. Apples, oak. Is there anything else that can come from this? Do we get the leaves? No. Yep. <laughs> Heart of the universe. Okay, um... Yeah, I think we're onto these dust right here. Why does Venda need apples? Technically it doesn't. I don't think. It's for the upgrades, the storage upgrades. 
these which actually are used in the creative mill that's right yeah so yeah vending does take apples and it's quite a lot of them as well it's a couple thousand at least or more okay let's get an all clay for this More eggs. I really have to salt throw in those things. <laughs> it's too funny though. Okay, conveyor and interface here okay passive flux crystals time to never upgrade red colons because you think you're short on apples I think we're gonna be waiting on chaos charge first I think <laughs> it's gonna be re really funny though for short apples Speaking of short apples, let's order more tier 7s. Okay, this can go. Yes, we need... Oh, we need Lumium Signalum. I don't know if it's easier to start with Lumium Signalum or start at the end here. Or not at the end, but at this stage. Well, let's start with both the cloth rates, actually. We do need, yeah, we need these for Lumium Signalum. You have to go, no worries, John. I'll, I'll look forward to more of your comments. <laughs> Enjoy the VOD later. Yeah, so these are chemical reactors. get a few I'm sure we have redstone in the creative tanks already right oh yeah Nether Quartz? We're at almost a million Nether Quartz. Oh, there's something so satisfying about setting up these machines. What is this? Still LUV? Yeah. Ah, wait, it can't go there. Import, import. This one is going to be glowstone. Now I'm so glad I am. Um... But yeah, quartz again. Yeah, now I'm so glad I hooked up all these machines yesterday. So now we don't have to even add machines. It just makes it so easy to... Looks like we don't have close on. Makes it so easy to add stuff. Okay, we have this at the drawer still. Somewhere. Perfect. Oh 
<laughs> Look at them all here. Base design is quite satisfying. Yeah, there's something about putting the... I don't know how what you would say. Lining everything up properly. Okay, what else do we need? Electrum dust. Let's start pinning stuff. Electrum dust. No, let's start with mana dust because we got halfway through that. We still need diamond dust and then a crafter. Okay. That's twice today. Come on. <laughs> oh, that actually scared me there. Okay, there's mana dust. <laughs> GT jump scare, yeah. Chickens are secretly secretly plotting their revenge against you. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Hi. <laughs> Wonder if we can get him off the edge. Oh, he, no, he doesn't. He's not having it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So how do we get from mana dust up to here? We need signalium plumium. Well, let's start with signalium. Do we still need the fusion reactors? I don't think so. Uh, maybe... I was going to say maybe for Einsteinium, but even Einsteinium we can fluid solidify now. So I don't think we need fusion anymore. Okay, we've done the cloth rates. Annealed copper, dust, and ardite. Oh, annealed copper we have. Ardite, I think, is a crafting recipe. It's a mixer recipe, even. And for that, we need red steel. For that, we need black steel. Wait, we should be able to fluid solidify red steel, right? Oh, we can fluid solidify Ar Ardite. Where's the multi smellers here? Yep, Ardite, and we need still need the pulverizer for this though. Yep. And uh, our date. Compact in drawers here. Okay, and I think it was our date dust that we need, right? 
it is Ardite Dust, so we need another Pulverizer. So many clicks, it's unbelievable how many clicks you need. I feel like I'm almost hurting my hand here. Okay. Both of these and a crafter, which we already have set up. Here, here. Destabilized cloth rates. And that should be Signalum. Maybe? Passive tier 1s, now you're at 200k Rutile. Remember to take a long break. Yeah, we'll be taking a break here shortly. Why doesn't this craft though? Oh, there, um, there's a... <laughs> ah, look at this recipe. Why is there a red steel alloy there? I knew it had to be something sneaky like that. Okay, game. There's your red steel alloy. Or what is it called, red alloy? Red alloy dust. Signalum. Oh, made. Okay, now for Lumium. <gasps> uh oh. There's fluids. No, wait, no, 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 no. We still need it for flux electrum, right? Yes, there's no pulverizer recipe. Yes, yes. No, no, no. We still need this. No, no, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, there's no pulverized recipe for the blend. So, okay. Yep. That was not for nothing, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so energized clathrates we have. Tin alloy dust and sterling silver dust. We have luminescence already. We don't have sterling. Tin alloy we have already. Well. Where are we going to find Sterling Silver? I'm sure we can Fluid Solidify that. Hey, Apex. Welcome. It's going to be, what, pretty early for you, I think. Right? Sometime in the morning. I'm not sure. Another egg. Where's Sterling Silver? This we can Fluid Solidify. Correct? 
Yes, we need to blast furnace this though. You just got off work. Oh, I guess it was a night shift. How'd it go? Here's a space. Yeah, we're getting into the, the grain towards the end of this pack, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay, was that all? We need a pulverizer for that as well. Pulverizer. Interface. Conveyor. Sterling Silver. Okay, now we just have to add it to the crafter and we should have Signalum again. This. Tin Alloy. Luminescence and the Clathrate. That's not the one I wanted. Okay, Lumium. Nice. Okay, so we can safely tear, tear down all of this now, right? Ah, uh, wait, we need a mixer for this first. Yep, we need a mixer. Enderium, I think we can solidify Enderium. Yeah, we already have it. Indium, we're fine. Uh, yeah. Keep exact. 32 mana dust, 32 titanium dust. Which we actually don't have, we'll have to add those. Mana dust, titanium dust. Perfect. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess we don't have titanium dust. Oh, that's... Oh, that was, that was a big mistake there. Okay, let's add titanium. Alright, now I think we can tear it down. Is Enderium dust not used for anything? Good question. I don't think so. No, Enderium dust isn't. In is Enderium blend? Because that is different. No, it's just used for Enderium. Okay. So, yeah, is there anything else we need out of this? I don't think so. We have silicon rubber sheets already. We added those by mistake earlier on. But the rest of this stuff can just go. You know what we actually need here is a magnet card. The 
the magnet cards here is what we want. Oh yeah. Goodbye machines, see you've served us well. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, I can't tell you how good this feels to get all this removed now. All the spaghetti out of the way. Now this is how you strip me. <laughs> Look at all the resources we're getting here. Definitely mark this one on your map. Let's lumber axe this, why not? Oh, 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 oh. Careful. Careful. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Okay, let's make sure the rest are okay. 256, yeah, these are all limited. We're good. Oh, perfect timing on the bot there. These are all limited. I just don't want one with hundreds of thousands of items because that would crash the game. Uh, we would not be chilling then. Thought it was a new episode. I, I think I really want to get this stuff out of the way. I don't want to tread the same ground on the episodes. I mean, I guess there is some new stuff in here, but... Chat would be laughing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I guess it is a new episode, yeah. Okay, what's over here? No! I forgot I had the lumber axe on. That was 30,000 nickel right there. Oh, it keeps going. I did not mean to do that there. I just said to myself to be careful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh 
Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh wait, it's because I don't have the drawer key in my hand. Oh no, 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 we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. The game survived, it's fine. Oh, there's the rain sensor as well. Rain be gone. We're fine, we're fine. Races are varied, exactly. Now then, we have to... Technically, we have to keep this right now. Oh, that, I'm not... I'm not a fan of that at all. Okay, so that just leaves drawers over this end, right? Drawers and a microverse projector. And this thing. That's way too much in it. I'm not breaking that. Same with all these. Uh, yeah, no chance. Not a chance. Why don't you do import boss? We're going to move the drawers. We just have to find a location for some new ones. Um, okay, I want to also get the this part here ripped up here And the oil rig the oil rig can come out right now Let's also send more sevens The oil, yep, oil is gone. It's time for renewables. Okay, this place is looking a... <laughs> a right mess now, look at this. All of this stuff we should have, I think. Do we need endstone anymore? I guess we do, but for like three tools at the end, so I'm not going to worry about that. Endstone dust, do we need? No. I guess this is a better way to get blitz powder. Are, do all of them have recipes like that? I wonder if this is actually worth it to take the strain off DML. Hmm. That's something to bear in mind, but I don't think we'll set up yet. The rest of the stuff we should have. Vibrant crystals we have already. Silver, I think I added that. I did. Silicon. We got that already. I don't think we need chrome dust. Small steel pipes. I think I added those last night. Yep. Pulsating crystals. We have. And all this stuff we have. Okay.
I wonder how the drives are doing right now. I bet there's a lot of types we added. Oh, no, these runs are still empty. We're still good. Can you fluid extract the elemental dusts? I don't think so, no. Careful now. Make sure this is not a max upgraded drawer. Careful. <laughs> 2000. Yeah, we're safe with 2000. Uh huh. Sand is 22,000. Oh, this is 36,000. That was, <laughs> I think that was more... I'm really chancing it now. I'm not doing any more than 30,000. 4,000. Emerald plates, we need those, right? And I, oh, I added them already. Nice. How does your game run so smoothly on 112? Nomi Factory in general is just a really light pack. Like, there's almost nothing to it, really. Like, you have Greg Tech, you have Thermal, and then Content Tweaker, and that's just about it. Nuclear Craft, it's really, really focused, so th there's not a whole lot to get in the way of performance. Obviously, you still do have to be careful with crafting cards and whatnot. And the fission reactors, actually. If you blink those, that will lag your game out. So it's best to have some sort of latch on them. One of your large microverse projectors is missing a piece of glass. Yes, you're right about that, actually. And the reason for that is it's ineffable glass. And ineffable glass takes lunar reactive dust, which has to be made in that resonator over there. I think I might have emptied it. I didn't empty it. Let's fix this. And also just start a new batch. Yeah, or just produce enough fuel, yeah. It's missing more than one piece of glass. It's this corner and the top somewhere. Invalid structure. There we go. Oh, that's 98,000 aluminium dust. There is no danger I'm breaking that one.
That's getting trashed. Use the lumber axe, trust me. Yeah, 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 sure. Yep, it's all gone. <laughs> all of it is gone. Same with these. Gone. 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 Goodbye. Yeah, of course we can just solidify this. I wouldn't void it if, it if we can't solidify. I mean, sure, it does cost a bit of processing time and power, but... That's alright. Alright, what's next on the block? Next on the chopping block. At least drop them into the void. Give them to the chicken. <laughs> Feed them aluminium dust. <laughs> Haven't voided red coal? No, of course not. We set we set up red coal up there. We're getting apples. Okay, yeah, what, what else do we need to do here? We need to remove these. Honestly, I'm tempted just to leave that right now. You know what, let's do something um, oh, we can actually take this down. I do want to remove this. Remove the fusion reactor. Oh, I don't know. Has anyone been keeping track on the on the egg count? I think I've lost track. Oh, we're out of dilithium and exquisite diamonds. I think that's for the tier one mission, right? We're going to do something really silly here. This is way faster than setting up the, bit, the ability to request this and the ones up there. Okay, now we should be able to get exquisites. No? Why are you offline? 
Oh yeah, I missed this section. Here one exquisite, so let's get 64. Sure. Thought it was about removing it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it just takes way more time to set all this spaghetti up here. Why no work? Depth. Oh yeah, I've, uh, that make yeah that does make a lot of sense. It has to be at least one block. Oh, the chicken. Should we do it? Should we save him? <laughs> oh man, the chicken. Save him. <laughs> you got lucky. Lucky he has you guys here. <laughs> Chickens can fly, yeah. <laughs> We save them, we save them. Can we destruction gadget these? No. Okay, we really have to decide what we're doing with these. Lithium and calcium. These all have solidifier recipes, so... Goodbye. These ones I'm not so sure about. So, uh, silver for sure. I'm going to take this off the hot bar though. Zinc for sure has a solidifier. Indium I'm sure has, yeah. Goodbye, Indium. Goodbye, Indy. Lead. Goodbye. Sulfur, I don't think has. I don't, I'm, we're going to keep that one. Indium Gallium Phosphide has. Calcium again. Phosphorus. We'll just pick this up. I don't want I don't really want to avoid sulfur to be honest.
Yeah, they made it so that you can't interact with tile entities, yeah. Okay, all of these things, do we... Fluid solidifier available. Lanthanum, I'm assuming, is the same. Uh-huh. Yttrium, I know, is the same. Neodymium is the same. Cerium, cadmium, sodium, boron. Yep, all of these are gone. Hey, here's some. Okay, what about these? Sugar and mincemeat. 392... Wait. Guys, don't look. This is the... This is the flesh of chickens. <laughs> This is the flesh of chickens right here. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> that emote is perfect. This one's going to the void. <laughs> An industrial scale, yeah. What's this? Silicon dioxide. Does this have an ingot? Do we need silicon dioxide for anything? Does anyone know? What do we need this for? Electrolyze into silicon. This is useless, right? Oh yeah, there is a keybind. I keep forgetting about that. Just to be safe here, I'm going to pack and tape this. Luminescence we don't want to void though. Where can we place this? Oh, you know what? I've got the perfect spot for this. There's one here which doesn't have... It has a machine, but it doesn't have a drawer. Where is that? It's not that one there. It's, there is one more. Mm, I can't find it anywhere. I'm sure I had one with a trim above. Because it was something that we were doing on demand, and I I wanted just to keep it on demand, but it's not something we need a PA for. Apparently, it doesn't exist anymore. I don't really want to just put it down because that just creates more problems. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's like in a place where I'm happy to just leave it. Maybe like here. Yeah. I passed it, did I really? Don't 
Don't tease me like that. <laughs> Did I? Oh, it's the here. It's here. It's here. Yes, this one here. We're we're making neutron reflectors here. That can live there. We do already have luminescence, yeah, but this was our old supply, so I don't really want to avoid it. Careful now with the microverse projector. Careful now. <laughs> you don't want to take this out or anything around it. Ah, uh, yeah, there's these drawers here. Do we need do we need coke for anything? I don't think so. No. Oh man, what do we do with these? Like clay, all this stuff, glass, obsidian, wood pulp. Wait, we don't need rubber for anything, do we? Just break it, just void it. Yeah, I'm leaning towards just voiding it. Stone dust. What's this here? Calcium, we don't need that. Bone meal. Hmm. Do we need bones for anything? We can compress them twice into skeleton skulls. That might save us just running more skeleton like ever. Better safe than sorry. The rest of these all have their trim or their tape on them, yep. Yeah. started watching me a few days ago there's been a I feel like there's been a lot of new viewers to the channel so welcome if you're new around here <laughs> there's no vein miner no doesn't exist here all right what we got polyvinyl sheets don't need that Sodium hydroxide. Do we need this? This is all just fluid recipes. Nope. Polyethylene sheets. We don't need. Silicon dioxide. We don't need. Do 
gypsum. Hold on. Don't need. Almost there, almost there. Cobblestone, no more. And this is the end of the lawn base. No more lawn base from now on. <laughs> Especially in the next pack. I'm absolutely not doing a lawn base anymore. Oh, we have a chicken. And another one. And another one. And another one. <laughs> <laughs> And another one. One more chicken. Look at them all here. DJ Khaled be like, yeah, I was I was about to say that. Oh, I did not mean to take that out. Oh no! No, Lapis! No, we can't get that any other way. <laughs> well, it's gone. <laughs> no, nah, we didn't need lovers. We totally need lovers. Oh, that was sad. I love what's going on over here. Okay, I'm having a bit too much fun with this destruction gadget now. I think I need to stop before I take out something that I don't want to take out. A few more. <laughs> a few more chunks. Ah. What's the egg count? I have no idea now. Way too many eggs. More protein than we can ever consume.
Yeah, it's easy to start, but hard to stop using this thing. It's also claim back all this stuff. Okay. You know, I was thinking a lot about moving DML, but I think it's going to stay where it is, honestly. At least until we get the simulation supercomputers. Extended crafting will definitely get its own room, though. Because we need... Maybe, like, four times the amount of tables that we have here. Oh, this place looks so different now. Do we need fission reactors? Yes, I guess we do because we use this for power, right? We still use these to power our base. And this isn't a trivial amount of power either. Fishing reactors, yeah, fishing. Okay, wait, before we move on, I think I want to upgrade all of these drawers. We should really, we should really have done it as we were, as we were adding the drawers themselves, because now we've just got like a massive amount of storage upgrades to add to these things. Let's do this in a sensible way. Start from the top. We definitely need these buffers much bigger. Our AE system is going to look so different in a second. What's well, currently our most stored item? Anil Copper Nuggets. I guess that drawer is already upgraded. <laughs> Start from the top. Yeah, I mean from like the metaphorical top. You know what I meant. Oh, that's the one it's upgraded. Omnium, modes of Omnium, Lumium, Neodymium. In silver. We're going to get through this dark solarium. Portable tanks. Lumium plates, HSSG rotors. I'm curious how much power this is going to take when all these are running. We may have to expedite the process of upgrading power. And 
this one is done, right? Yep. Oh yeah, we can actually solidify uh, Solarium. I saw a few comments about that yesterday. It turns out we can, which is cool. So I removed it from the crafter. Neutronium. Oh my goodness, look at all this Neutronium. If only we had that like four days ago. <laughs> Three days ago. Almost there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna prioritize the ones that we actually have here. I don't I think this block is completely empty, right? Yeah. We'll leave that. I want to make sure we have enough emeralds, because emeralds is not something we can fluid solidify. Eggs. Is it faster just to do this? Probably not. It's easier in the hands though. <laughs> Why do you need thermal dust? We need thermal dust for lumium and signalum blend. And we need those for flux electrum. And we need those for the tier 10 microminer. Grab some more. Auto clicker? We're almost there. I think we've got like one block left. No, technically four blocks left. Why is it still crafting? Oh, it's making emeralds. Yeah, I guess from emerald dust. What happened to New Horizons? Okay, so... Yeah, I've been getting this question a lot, actually. I guess I should probably address on stream. On video. If you want... <laughs> Curious what the power is doing? Yeah, we'll go check that. If you want, um, so I made a post on Discord. I'm sure a lot of you guys would have seen that. But we're going to extend the break on on GTNH for the time being. Community post? Yeah, maybe. I, th I think I'm going to address it in a video after, uh, near, near the end of this series. Order more tier 7. Good point, good point. Oh, dilithium. That's from tier 1. Ores mission. Yeah, I'm going to address it in a video, but... um, <laughs> When I started Nomi, I fully did intend to post videos of... Uh, don't want to upgrade these. I did intend to play GTNH alongside this, and just alternate the series. But I got really addicted to this, honestly. <laughs> and uh, I, w I went back to try to try to record some stuff, and I was just sitting in like for it just takes hours and hours and hours, and you get nowhere. I was still having fun as well. Like it's still a good pack. I still think GTNH is still a good pack, despite all the criticism it gets. There is a, some good qualities to it. 
I just don't think it's a good pack for YouTube. You know? Uh, wait a second. We don't want to do this. Maxed out diamond dust. Oh, I, d I totally did do that. Yeah, we don't want to do that either. 2,000 is plenty to store. Oh, I just put it all back. Did we fully drop GTNH? Um, I need somewhere to put this. I'm not going to say it's never coming back because... I mean, we still have the, the save file, right? We still have the world, the server. But we're, we will be move on, moving on to something different after Nomi. <laughs> Let's go check on power. Actually... But yeah, I really just, I, I have to really think about how long it takes to make a video on that, like, it just takes so long to do anything there. And the, the fact that it's so complicated means I'm, like, explaining things multiple times over. I'm not sure, honestly. Maybe one there is fine. But yeah, it's always gonna... It's always gonna haunt me, the fact that I've never finished it. <laughs> or taunt me, I mean. It's always gonna taunt me. It's always gonna be there in, in the back of my head, like, oh, you didn't finish GTNH? Three? Don't want to upgrade that one. Minus 10 million RF. And it's going to be empty in an hour. Well. Do you think the next pack after Nomi will be a Greg Tech base pack? I, I'm not thinking so. I don't think so. That's what's called the countdown. Yeah, we're on the clock here now. Um, and if power goes out, that means we can't actually. It means we can't access our AE system, and it means we can't upgrade power. Solidify Crystal Matrix. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I am sending micro miners, right? I was going to say, we're not using it yet, but yeah, that... We should... Oops. Guess we need an ingot. Yeah, Naquada Mark II reactors is what I'm leaning towards. Either that or solar. Maybe do solar. Because we need them anyway. I don't know how expensive those are going to be for, for us at this point.
Oh no, it's supposed to be solidifiers here. So we can do the plates and the ingots and the blocks. Wait, we should upgrade those as well. Upgrade the drawers. That one's done. That one's done, okay. Well, I think before we tackle power, I'm gonna take a really quick break. It's been four hours? Has it been four? Yeah. We're approaching four hours streamed right now. But we're gonna go a bit longer. But yeah, take a breaker if you need to, I'll be back shortly. Thanks for sticking around, guys.
Welcome back. We're back, we're back. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we're on a we're on a bit of a timer here. Right? Forty seven minutes to get this done. <laughs> Probably should have paused the game, to be honest. But yeah, I'm thinking that we go for this thing. <laughs> Wait, this is only Mark 1. How do we make Mark 2? And is it much more expensive? Forty-seven minutes for what? Until we run out of power completely. <laughs> so yeah, let's get a little bit of speed on this. Let's encode the recipes first. Uh, how much does this output? Six hundred fifty-five thousand EU per tick. Each. How many should we go for? Hi, Nugget. You met twin. <laughs> uh, how many should we go for then? Is like thirty-two of these things too many? Apparently, yes. Fission reactor casings. And pylons. Oh, this takes wire and energy cores. And nether star plates. We should be able to do that, though. Lithium dust. Boron dust. Oh no. This is not what we need right now. Um... Well, this thing is coming down. <laughs> Actions have consequences. Yeah, exactly. The void ate it all up. I think we may be able to get away with uh, tearing down the other reactor as well. Okay, we can get 32, but what else do we need for this is the question. Microverse casings. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do here. Do one of these things. equals a random bit of paper and this is going to go here
Oops. Now we request 32. Okay. UV output hatches. Lithium dust, boron dust. Crystonia crystals. Okay, how do we get boron? I think it's only from borax or the microminers, right? Lithium is easy, just electrolyze clay. No, we can just fluid solidify. Lithium is easy, but I'm I'm curious if we need this reactor anymore. Probably not, right? Is there any is there any nuclear fuels that we need at this point in the game? I mean we got all the quests over here. I can't think about anything else that we need, right? Any Nomi experts here? An end game? <laughs> uh, there's too many to go through all the recipes, right? Nuclear... Yeah, look at all the nuclear fuels here. I'm meant to be the expert. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Here's what we'll do. We'll take the casings off, right? We'll take the casings off and leave the reactor as is. And replace the casings if we need it. Better airflow, yeah. <laughs> At the cost of getting cancer, but you get better airflow. So, worth? That should be more than enough casings, right? Just so that we don't have to do it later, I'm going to add lithium right now. Oh, look at all these machines. Machines. Need space. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? We need a pulverizer. What did you miss? Uh, we, well, we made a bit of a mess down here, as you can see, <laughs> for anyone who's just joining. Um, yeah. We had a bit of an accident. The chickens uh, had their way. This is the ZPM line. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to have to go taller on this.
Why do we have energy issues? Because we upgraded all of the drawers up there. So pretty much, we have like hundreds of LUV machines right now running. And they're going to be running for quite some time. So I have a feeling we'll have to disconnect power to those at some point today. Okay, can we get 32 now? We're missing redstone. What? We're missing redstone. Don't we have redstone here? Does anyone see redstone? Mm. It's not here, right? It doesn't exist. You saw it, don't troll me. <laughs> Where? There it is. It has no power, that's why. It has no power, that's why. What's my opinion on E6E? I can't give an opinion right now. I haven't played the pack, so I'm not going to comment on it. Although, I, from what I've seen of other people's playthroughs, it, it looked fun. Lash Max playthrough, I wish it was still going, but I mean, obviously, that's his decision. I really enjoyed his series, though, so I don't know. Okay, what else? Uh, the energy hatches and boron. Why did you put lanterns? Just for light. It's way too dark otherwise. I'm going to encode this first. And grab a, I don't know, a ZPM electrolyzer. Oh my goodness, spelling. Hey, Extreme Rider. Welcome. Ender IO armor is hard. Yep. Very. Even though we have the max stellar pickaxe. Oh, this gives us two thi- Oh, Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Axe, why? Why?
This wasn't supposed to do- 300,000 fine aluminium wire. Oh. Oh my. That could have been so bad there. Oh. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, don't run away from me. <laughs> Where's the one by two drawer? Um That was that was that was dangerous right there. Even took out the trim in the back. Not the middle one now. Yeah, so we have these split up into like four quadrants here. With four different drawer controllers. And this way we can trim the back and then hook up the same... Like these two... These... Eight drawers. Oh, is it fluid as well? That's alright, we can fix that when we when we stack it up. Are you using dial-up? Yep. Streaming from dial-up. No crafting CPUs, huh? Is there anything else here that we haven't fluid solidified yet? Oh no, that is... 700 wiring cores. 700. There's no way we can get that right now. Let's start, let's start with like two. Get a couple of thousand of these. Um... We got we got twenty five minutes. Can we make a solar panel? That's not gonna put that's not gonna put a dent in it though, right? Because this draconic is only a hundred thousand. We need like we need like a hundred of these things. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Upgrades were a mistake. 
Mistakes were made. Yeah, we do need more Neutronium Panels, but this requires Chaos Shards. Uh oh. Crystal Matrix Plate in Dilithium. Okay, Dilithium we have to set up. Dilithium is, is a must. Yeah, I think we took that down and we didn't set it back up again, so... This could be really bad. I'm I'm trying to focus here because I want to get this done like ASAP. Nope, that's the autoclave. Nope. That doesn't look very fast, does it? Yeah, then this has to go in here. Okay, dilithium we have. Eggs. Yeah, disconnect some machinery. Yeah, we have to, I think. Okay, let's cut power to all of this stuff, because we just can't afford to run this right now. We have to keep it to the assembly lines. Let's cut them all in the same place so that we know what is what all has been... Has to be done. We don't have enough time. Rubber mallet everything, no that <laughs> there's no way I'm rubber mallet in every single machine. Okay, it has to fill conduit buffers, I think. Hold on, let's check the power buffer. I bet it's it's probably empty. It's filling up, it's filling up. I don't think we can get this many tier 8s though. I mean... Yeah, Crystal Matrix. Is made in the compressor. Ten seconds at ZPM, that's quite slow. We're gonna pee it. Drink nickel plasma and hook yourself up to the power grid. I 
Oh, wait a second. You know, one thing you just reminded me of here is we are making nickel with nowhere for it to go, theoretically. There we go. Running out of power, putting a UV energy hutch. Yeah, of course. Of course we are. It's fine. Or for this. Uh, storage bus. Interface. Flux cable. High priority. ME conjure for consistency. Compressors. Where are they? Oh, we're stuck on the assembly lines. I think it is crafting, it just takes a while for ZPM stuff. Yeah, we're always going to have power, we just have to disconnect enough stuff. Although the fact that it's not filling yet is not filling me with a great deal of confidence. Uh, 174, that's not going up very fast. I think it's because these things are running. And these are running at UV. Six UV assembly lines takes up quite a bit of power. I think we- I don't think we're going to be able to get the solar panel, right? At least not in enough time. So we can probably just work on both. Send like another tier 7. Another two tier 7s. Yeah. I mean, look at this. <laughs> you see that video where I spent like 30 hours? I sent 20 four of these things, I think the math worked out too. And look at this, this was all before tank as well. It's kind of crazy. And technically it's more because we have a lot of this stuff on passive, so you don't see a lot of the inf intermediate stuff. What big things is there left to do? Creative vending is basically our next goal. And that's, that marks the end of the pack. But Creative Ending is no joke. It's it's no joke. Rush Source. I think that's the first creative we're going to go for though. Yeah. Creative Energy. Let's just... Well, that's crafting. Let's just take note of how far off we're, we actually are from this. Creative Source. This kind of, this looks, this looks a little bit, oh yeah, that's, that, yeah, see, this is two neutronium solars on its own. So we have to craft the solars anyway. What's the rainbow gen? Yeah, 
Yeah, this is no joke. And it's four ultimate generators. Four ultimate generators. No way. Yeah. Is it Creative RF? I think there is a separate one, yeah. Yeah, this thing. Oh, this is much more manageable. This is only four ultimate generators. Only four. <laughs> yeah, this is much more manageable. Yeah, we're gonna obviously we're yeah we're gonna craft the the solars as soon as we can, but we do need twenty chaos shards per solar panel. So, and I don't think we have any right now. Uh, yeah, we're missing twenty, and gravity stars, which we should set up, but. Wonder why that is there. Anyways, there's two Nikwanda reactors. Let's um find a place to put these things. Where do we put this? What about the power situation? Yeah, I'm kind of panicking a bit right now. I'm not going to lie. Where do we put this? Draconic fusion I want here. So it can't really... What if we do it on this side? You can link copy paste gadget to an inventory. Oh, you can. Huh. I'm not going to mess with that right now. I need to set this up first. In front of the microminers? Yeah, we're just, yeah, just place the things. Where though? Here. We're going to place it here. Because technically this won't be forever. It doesn't really matter, honestly. I mean, it's not like we have a work of art here. Yeah, let's just go six, six chunks. We have to see what we're doing, first of all. We still managed to misplace blocks. Okay, how big are these things? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. You guys know me with multi blocks. 
You guys know me with the multi blocks. Uh, close your eyes for a second. If any of you guys were here during Divine Journey, you're, you know exactly what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Yeah, those pylons look fancy. Yeah, I like them. Input and output on the top. What are we missing here? Some glass. Technically, the recipe is wrong if we're wall sharing them like this. Let's try to get another like four. Sure, we can use this one. This is the one I use for. Uh, the tier 10. I don't know if it's here. Oh, this isn't going to copy, is it? Awful looking multi block, you think so? Okay, what is what is our situation with energy here? We need draconium cable. We'll run it like this. To the middle and then CEU. Uh we don't have CEUs. We have ZPM CEUs, but we don't have UV. Oh no, that is expensive. With the circuit in there. I guess we only need a few of them though, right? Europium. Uh, please tell me we have that. We have one left. We have one left. How many minutes left are we on power? We're we're probably done for. Twenty seven minutes. Yeah, we yeah we dis disconnected things that bought us some time. But now, of course, we're not going to be able to get any of any of this stuff. <laughs> Out of power. Someone has forgotten the GTNH days? No, 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 I'm not forgetting those. How can you forget GTNH recipes?
One CEUs and offer eight reactor eight Mark twos. That's good to know. That's good to know. So we can have sixteen with two CEUs. What's this new multi block? Yeah, I guess I should maybe explain this. So this is the Nequada reactor. And you can burn Nequadria or Nequa enrich Nequada bowls. And you will get seven million no. Seven billion EU. Is this in billion? Million. So I guess that means we also have to set up a crafter of some sort. Or at least an interface. Can go like here. Ah, wait, that's not the middle. That's going to bother me. <laughs> I have to fix this. Here is where we want it. How can you keep you keep giving me too many numbers here? <laughs> Okay, um, the Quadria Bolts. Point 0.8 seconds at MV, so yeah, we can just do this at IV. We'll just we'll have to add multiple if we need more than one. Oh, we don't have the quadria. Oh no! How can we be short like one small dust? What? That's impossible. No. <laughs> oh, no way. And we don't have power on this line now. Oh, this is just... You even had tinier piles, exactly. Oh, that is tragic. That truly is tragic. No power. No power. Oh, wow. Check the fusion react. Check the fusion react. Yay. Oh. 
Hold on, we might have another genius here. We might have... Oh, perfect. Oh, thank you. Saved. <laughs> nice. And now, of course, we don't have any power here. He hasn't noticed yet? What have I not noticed? I don't like that. Wait till 3 realizes that reactors are off-center. No way. Did I build them off-center? Surely not. Don't need this anymore. No. Let him find out? No way. <laughs> Wait, here, here, here. Mm, this, no, this leaves us with a three block gap in the middle. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Okay, so we want an interface here to supply an Aquadria bolts. I have them in my, in my inventory. Let's get some extract speeds. Round robin. Insert. Insert. Perfect. Are you running? Yes, so the input should be filling up. Mm-hmm. We also get, like, lead bolts or something like that out of this. We don't need those. A bit more. Oh, hey, Exa. We made a bit of a mess. I mean, the chickens made a bit of a mess. It was their fault. <laughs> okay, how are we doing on CEUs? We have two UVs. Perfect. 
Need some more cable here. You know, the only problem with the placement here is we don't have access to our input line here. Blame the chickens, that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Uh, how are we going to hook this up to our input line? That right there is an output line. And we can't connect to that. Energy conduits have channel? No, it's one. It's a single channel. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna go up with it then. You know, when I place this dra draconic reactor, or not reactor, the fusion thing, oh, placing this here means disconnecting every single one of these. I originally want wanted to put these Naquada reactors below this. I don't know. It's going to work out though, I think. Use Phantom Face? What's the range on that thing? You know what, this may have actually turned out to the be to be the best solution. It takes like a couple of extra clicks, but I I don't know, I've lost track of how many clicks I've made today with configuring all these machines. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, how's our power situation now? Missed the first? Hi Loris. I did miss the first. Yeah, nice. No, not nice. <laughs> what happened there? Well, we bought ourselves some time at least. That's a good point actually, we need to do this. Hundred eighty million? How can that be still a hundred and eighty million? No way. Okay, let's get a few more of these. Like eight more. Crafting CPUs. 
Four more. Still CPUs. Wait a minute. Minority Crystal, why did that stop? Supercharged laser arrays, we had... Are we dealing with the bolt output? Yeah, I didn't forget about those. We have to trash can those. Where's the laser arrays? We made those earlier. Here they are. Oh yeah, of course, no power on this. Okay. Now we can get two more. Let's also trash the lead bolts. Is lead bolts, right? I don't know what it is. Yeah, lead. Uh, we should have a conduit probe here. That's so many fillers. Probably unnecessary to even filter this, but we filter everything. Yeah, so the next one is going to be... I don't know why I've done it like this, honestly. Oh, so we can have more easily on the other side. It's extremely inefficient cabling here, but cabling is free. All right, next ones are finished. Let's see how well we can copy this. I don't think it's going to paste very well. Mm, I think here is where we want it, right? Yep, didn't paste very well. Those reactors generate one amp of UV each. Yeah, so one, two. Yeah, so it's eight on each side. I think we're fine. Wouldn't it be easier to place a trash gun in the output bus? Yeah, you're probably right, actually. Using effortless? Yeah, that's not a bad idea either. I think I misplaced this as well. I did. We're one too, too far to the left.
Exa, any chance we can get a a scanning tool? Like in GTNH? That would be nice for, for amperage. You know what, that's too much. It It's too many to configure. How do we have this many? I feel like the numbers are off here somewhere. CEU has the scanner, yeah, I think it does, right? Not this way. Yeah, that's what we want. Nice. Is it here? Oh, I have them here. Move the entire base into spatial storage. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think we start here. Look at that. Effortless. Wait a second. No, that is right. That is the middle of the molly block. What are we going to do for energy generation? What you're looking at right here. These are the Naquada reactors. Which exchange Naquadria bolts for power. And Naquadria bolts are free because of the tank. Oh, that was wrong.
Yeah, and just output bosses on the wrist. All right. Form the molly block, perfect. Everything is hooked up, I think. Okay, where did my conduit probe go? In my inventory. This one isn't happy. Yeah, it probably would have been easier to do the trash can, but we got them set up now. Last one's missing a cable. Is it? Okay, how is our reactor doing now? Or the power ball? Wrench is going to break soon? Yeah, we'll probably have to get a neutronium one. Okay, so one ticket takes a hundred thousand years, and <laughs> next we're filling it. We are like right on the edge here. Let's see what the the conduit probe tells us. Oh yeah, it's definitely filling this. It's definitely filling up. What happens when we plug all these in again? We're we're not gonna um we're not gonna cut our production to satisfy energy. We're gonna do the other way around. And by that I mean expand production, not cut production <laughs> or energy. I mean. Increase energy to meet the production needs. There we go. We're positive. Until it drains the buffer, but I think we're okay. Cut energy to expand production. That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> Also, um, I'm going to uh, switch the recipe for these Naquada reactors because the one that we have doesn't account for the fact that we're wall sharing them. Where's the that inner chest? So we're getting actually extra materials out of this. And we'll just order them in pairs, I think. So it was like 22 of these things. How many pylons would it be? Is there a limit on the number of machines that you can wall share? I don't think so. Many is this? Thirty pylons. Twenty five fishing casings. With a little bit more required on the end ones. Yeah, so let's put these this stuff back and try to just fill out the rest of them. <clears throat> Can you wall share multiple walls? I think that only applies to... Uh, actually, maybe you can. I'm not sure. 
Maybe ask... Ask Exa. I, I don't know if he's still here or not. I'm actually, I'm actually not sure if you can do both sides. Did you check if you screwed up the inputs on the conduits? Did I? I think they all have... Yeah, they all have bolts. I think we're okay. Hey, Jacob. Definitely can share multiple walls. You're doing it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course we're doing it. This one isn't going to fit here. Actually, we should be okay. Get array mode back on. Oh, I love this effortless building. Oh, but that placed it in the wrong place though. Oh no, oh no, what am I doing? <laughs> I forgot we had the space in the middle. Oh, there. Okay, now the Omnium. Oh, there's an undo button. I forgot about that. Aren't Neutronium pal panels basically free? Absolutely not. <laughs> I wish they were, but no, they're not. What are creative flight options? You can do an angel ring or uh, the glitch armor. But yeah, Mayo is basically right. The the thing that has the most cost post tank is the shards. If that's in your recipe, then uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> Place this the wrong way as well. Output bus here or here. OK. 
Okay. And take care of the output as well. Okay, do we have built reactors? I think we do. Need some more draconium cable here. Yeah, it looks like we're not overloading this thing yet. You left for 10 minutes, now there's 8 Naquara reactors. We actually built these quite relatively slow. <laughs> I misplaced quite a lot of blocks here. How many more do we need to fill out this row? Just so that it's uh, nice. Seven more? So three more crafts, since we order them two at a time. Estonia. Spamming solidifiers is kind of boring. I mean... Yeah, I guess it could be. I guess some people could see how that's boring, but I've I've enjoyed myself. <laughs> and that's what matters. These chicken have kept me company. You guys are here hanging out on a Thursday. I almost said Wednesday there. Mm, energetic alloy wire. Maybe we should pass of this. Draconian plates for sure. You're the goat. <laughs> no, that's reserved for Doc M. Doc M will always be the goat. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? But yeah, of course we're, of course we're, uh, of course we're grinding. On the grind. Of course, yeah, yeah. Didn't you run out of power? We did. Until we have these things. Uh, we're now down to 700 years. 700 years, that ain't bad. Ethel will always have a special place in my heart. Yeah, I think we can all agree Etho is... Etho... Etho is a legend. How far from Creative Vendon? Or Energy, I mean? I don't know why I read Ener Vendon. Uh, I think we're still a few days, maybe one or two days.
I think doing the middle is a bit better of a strategy here. Yeah, that's so much easier to place this now. Yeah. Send more tier 7, you're on it. You keep reminding me and it's great. I love it. Send more tier 7s, yes. Absolutely. What's the long term plan for all the 7 and 8s? Passive them all. Which is why we're building all this infrastructure, so that we can just add in all the recipes effectively. And I'm going to use the same system I designed last time. I came up with this little uh, this little setup for... To passively send the tier 7 and 8s. Based on a level emitter. I think, is it still crafting one more? Or did I just not request enough? I think maybe I didn't request enough because it's in pairs. That's okay. Thank you, Trox. Almost there. But I really want to have a, a power um, surplus. I don't want to just leave this just over the edge of our power. Because as soon as we add anything else, it's going to dip again. Got any plans for next pack? Yep. Soon. <laughs> 700 years of power just over the edge. No, that's 700 years is how, how long it takes to fill. So that means we're not producing that much extra. Wrong bus order. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? like that this pack actually has a use for creative stuff. Yeah, that's one of the things that makes the end game so good about this. Like, you have creative tank, but by no means are you finished the game. Okay, what are we missing here? Oh, that's where the rest of this stuff was.
Nope. Nope. There we go. Okay, so do we have enough CEUs for this? Missed a few conduits. Again. Oh, don't tell me. Missed a few. No, we didn't miss a few conduits, did we? No way. At least one or two. Should we just add more? I mean, this thing isn't even full, so is that a good sign or what? I don't know. I think because this isn't full, I think we're okay. Hundred more? <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, I think we're okay. I think we're okay with just two. Man, that is a lot of Naquada reactors. All right. 300 years. Plus 38 million RF, which is not bad. That is not bad. 38 million RF is like... 20 of these fission reactors that we built. These things. That really ain't too bad. Much does the reactor produce? 655,000 a year per tick. And then you times that by four to get the RF per tick. So yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, it's neutronium wrench time. This thing ain't breaking, ever. No way. Six hundred fifty-five thousand durability. All right, so I think, I think we can tear these down, right? Exit, is there any more, is there any more, uh, reactor materials that we need? Fusion reactor materials? I'm pretty sure we have uranium. Yeah, we got some spared uranium. And we got europium. Let's go and add geranium right now. Yeah, since they're fluids, we don't need it. Yeah, I thought so. And there's nothing unique other than the europium, uranium, tritanium, right? Einsteinium? Einsteinium we have already. We have a bucket of this. And we're fluid solidifying, I believe. Maybe not, actually. 
Mm, maybe not. We're not fluid solidifying it. Alright, well, may as well add it. Okay, so I think we can tear these down, right? And probably those as well. Goodbye, fusion. Oh, this is satisfying. It all lines up perfectly. Except on that corner there. Famous last words? <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. I mean, no, don't doubt me. We got this, we got this. Oh, these conduits are so, so thin. Can't click them. Bye bye, donuts. Took hours to build them and minutes to break them. Plasma terrains are just extra free power, yeah. I'm gonna leave them right now, so they're already wired in, so there's no point in removing them. Got a leaf, son. <laughs> okay, goodbye, brother. Have a great day. You have to click right in the middle as well. We're actually avoiding a bunch of power doing this as well. How do you break conduit? Just shift right click with the crescent hammer. Son and brother? No. <laughs> you were there on Discord, uh, Metis, right? I think, uh, I think Nugget was... One of the ones in my profile picture. One more. Tier 7 time? Yes it is. Let's get three of them.
Requires precision. There we go. You know what, actually, other than DML and the crafting tables, I don't think we've got that much infrastructure to set up anymore. Like, a lot of it is just going to be scaling from now on. Don't think shaking your mouse is precise. No, it definitely isn't. Even like this, hoping you hit a conduit is not a good idea. Have you checked the 1.19 update? I have. I was I was just watching um, Cub Fan's video actually before the stream. Morning, Naman. Well, that's them gone. Okay, I think the next project is to get fusion, uh, the fusion crafting going. Hmm, I'm trying, I'm trying to think, is there anything we should prioritize over this? And I'm thinking, no. We could maybe rush simulation supercomputers. But, I mean, once we have these, speed isn't going to be an issue, so to say. However, speed will always be an issue with fusion crafting, so I think we prioritize this first. Hi, King. Yeah, we made a bit of a mess here. <laughs> oh, it's actually working right now. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we did clean up quite a bit here. Things have been cleaned up quite significantly. Hmm. Is your tree farm supposed to be that dense? No, it is not. Something is broken. Do we forgot void upgrades? I forgot void upgrades. On something. Wait. No, we don't have access, that's why. You know the reason is we have the wrong filters here. I bet that's what it is. Because this is filtered for rubber wood. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yep. Why don't you launch like a stack of tier 7s? Let me show you. Wait. We're missing cobblestone. Yeah, chorus flower is, is a big reason. Chorus flower is... Uh, you know what? Actually, we're not that far away from being able to send a stack.
Two aluminium wire short. Those circuits, I mean, we have circuits on passive. Hold on a second. Yeah, give you an upgrade. You an upgrade, you an upgrade. Oh, I didn't actually enable auto output on that thing. Interesting. Cobblestone. We have cobblestone over here. Wait, we don't have cobblestone over here. Well, I guess we best get this going then. Not the lumber axe. I guess we did void a lot of it earlier on. That was probably a mistake. It's not set on the output. Oh, the machine output, yeah, you're right. Okay, now what's wrong with this? Still no hose. No axes either. You know, I did actually switch to Flux Infused Tools, but it didn't seem to work for the chorus. Or maybe that was just what what I imagined. Let's try it again. Flux Electrum. We never added this back in, did we? Isn't the Omni Wrench shears? Uh, yeah, I think it is actually. I guess we don't need hose since we're doing chorus. But yeah, we do have to add Flux Electrum Blend back. Oh yeah, that generates leaves instead of saplings. That's a good point. Give me those back. Yeah, phytogenic insulator, we need to look into those things. Hold on, what is this? LUV? We also need more space here. This is IV. How fast does electron dust pulverize it? 
Let's do IV instead. Did I not void the leaf drawer? That's not what I meant to do. Still alive? Yep. We are indeed still alive. It's been f almost six hours. But I think we have everything now for Flux Electrum. Signalum, Lumium, Mana Dust. Here. There we go. Looks like a higher tier pulverizer. I totally just put the LUV one back. There we go. Same speed, all the, it's all the same, really. Yeah, so this the tier 7s, uh, like, I don't know, really know if I want to get to say tracks with these right now. That's so many wet wear boards. Yeah, wet wear boards. Why isn't this thing crafting? Okay, what about now? Oh yeah, buffer, yeah. There we go. Fixed. Okay, now now we want to set up Draconic Fusion. Look at all those chickens that are grouped. Yes, Draconic Fusion. Actually... Next act of sabotage. Red coal's at 120k. I don't know if that's... I mean, we have apples now, right? We could technically get the next speed upgrades, which is the whole reason we set this up now.
Is this one to one? 16 to one. P8 or processing sounds cool. That sounds like something for off stream because that sounds like me looking at filters for three hours. I like filtering it. Yeah, I like filtering too. Okay, let's go and encode these things. Any plans for a 116 pack? I am really interested in checking out 116 plus. Yeah, I played a lot of 112 and 17 recently. Oh, we need the enchanted ingot as well. Oh, we have them already. I encoded them already, nice. Missing the base and the ingot. Oh, weighted pressure plates. Okay, we're going to do this. Don't do this at home. <laughs> oh, and a resonator. should have picked this up a very long time ago. That actually won't work, will it? What happens now? No, it's not plugged in. I did not mean to break that there. Okay, do you work? It looks like it. Maybe? Okay, good. Got it. Okay, what about the next upgrade after this? This is the ultimate one, which requires Drop of Evil. Only from pristine weather. I 
I think we can manage that. Yeah. Yeah, we can easily add this. How's the progress going? It's actually going very well. Very well today, actually. Really? <laughs> Come on, Applied Energistics. You know that's not where I meant to place that. Simulation supercomputers? Uh, yeah, kind of, but not the immediate goal. We're going to do Draconic Fusion Craft first. The reason being is it just takes longer, I think. Okay, we're just missing drops of evil. Now we should be able to upgrade red coal. Yeah, draconic, it's going to be a lot of clicks. And not something we'll finish tonight either. Gonna need GP. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't want crafters to stop working. Where do we place these things? Creative Mill? No, I'm not going to rush Creative Mill. It's not worth it. I don't think it's worth to rush Creative Mill. First time watching Greg Tech. Oh, you must be super confused right now. <laughs> well, maybe not now, but probably in the early game you would have been. Alright, let's get these red coal up automations upgraded. Yoink. 
We are apparently no longer producing coal. Because I forgot this. Maybe? Round Robin. Oh, we're still missing a few. Let's get 16. Isn't GT supposed to be confusing? <laughs> You've got no idea what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think probably a lot of people are like that, to be perfectly honest. Oh, this is going to take a while. Let's not sit and wait on it. Okay, how do we how do you link this to the AE system? I don't know if you can do that or not. That's super, super slow. Shift right click. We are on the terminal. Oh, an interface. An interface with the items in. Is that what you mean? that Huzzah. that's pretty cool I like it I like it a lot Now we got an uns unsymmetrical base. Actually, no, we won't because we we're going to be adding more assembly lines, so it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We can we're going to add more blocks on this end, so. And that is base building 101. <laughs> it's kind of like a man though, eh? Like... That's, that's so bizarre. Look at this. That is bizarre. <laughs> Yeah, we have this little sticky bit here, but we can remove that one since there's nothing there. Yeah, belly button and all. Okay, how difficult is it for us to craft like... 32 of these? That's basically free. What about like... Two stacks of these? Ender crystals. How is power? We should check that. I th I 
think we're in the positive though. Yeah, ender crystals. Where do we make those? I don't know why the downgrade is still on this thing. Mm. Yeah, that should be fine. Well, we have to move all these as well. These are going to be slow. Mm, we're going to be waiting on this, I have a feeling. You know, I was thinking maybe we switch to clocks as well because... Right, to get these things to craft, we have to give them a redstone signal. And I was using these conduits, but this is going to be so tedious to configure if we have a million of these things. So I think we just switch the clocks. That is not the one, the recipe that I wanted here. Yep, they are everywhere. No escaping them either. Okay. Mm, I, okay, let's think about what the best, easiest way to do this is. Mm, so we want it here. Well, actually, is there any point in us setting up more of these fusion crafters to do on-demand stuff? Hold on, let's have a look through these recipes here. So, chaotic cores will do on-demand. There's no way we're going to pass of these. So this is irrelevant right now. The dislocators we have to do on demand, or passively, I mean, because these are used in warp engines, and we want these to always be available. So we have to passive these things. Which is... 8, 9 item in inputs. This one is 10, so yeah, they're not all the same injector cost, either. This one is 9. Yeah. Hmm. Chaotic Core doesn't seem that bad to passive. 
Mm, yeah, it's a bit bad for us right now and we don't have any of this set up. We need to get like a, a concept down. We need to get a design that we can copy into it. Like here. That may not be enough space between them, honestly. We do need a few of these things to like get it going, so let's craft like we can always upgrade the injectors to the tier we need, as we need them. Hold on, so if we have like... This layout may not work for us here. Oh no, we're gonna stack them vertically as well. The idea is we have one square per recipe. Is what I was kinda thinking. The other thing is we have to think about the item interface. So we need some way for these items to get here as well. We need our clock as well, which I think has to go on the side. That means we can item conduit below. And that can go out to uh, interface, yeah. Actually, we may not even end up using the lasers for this. We may just conduit everything. Yeah, we may just filter all these because if we're like if we're doing it passively. Which means we can just do this. And then extract here. And we can even just do this and then have the next one on top here. Right, does that work? On power up here. Yeah, the conduit probe, we're definitely using that thing. But we do have to set fillers since each injector will take a different item. Mm, I think we have to go up here like this. Will this work for us? I don't foresee any issues with this. Other than the potential of interfering recipes over here. Which means I think we have to just put a little blocker up. 
if we have like two blockers in the middle. Because th these injectors here can interfere with this one over here. I th it has quite a large radius. I'm not exactly sure what it is. How would you extract from the top one? Oh yeah. Well, we could just do this. Right? Right, this, this wouldn't even connect up here. We would have... We'd have ME conduit and then another interface. Here. Yeah, that can work, right? You can stagger the injectors. Yeah, we could stagger them, I guess. But pillars is easier, right? I think this is I think this is an okay design. I think we can we can uh, copy this. The, the only problem is item insert for these ones. Maybe we go around the outside. Or do we just stick to the bottom? What do you guys think? Bottom? It's a little bit more difficult to set filters that way. But it does look a bit cleaner. The other consideration is, is there enough injectors? Yes, you're right about that. What is the maximum count? The maximum number? Is it a li is it 10? I, sh I I do remember seeing a 12 recipe somewhere. That's 5, 5. That's also 5. It's 12? It's 10? Alright, Mayo. Have a good one. It is 10? Okay. Whoa. Did anyone hear that? Oh, you dodged the bullet here. <laughs> Hey, consider yourself lucky. Wow. I think it was thunder. It was thunder. Or maybe that's what he wants us to believe. No, I, th I think I think ten is the max. And we have, what, nine here? So if we need one more, we can technically just do this. 
Not that. Does that work? Oh yeah, I guess we do have a... You can put it on both sides then. It's invalid, okay. Does have to be one away, okay. Okay, well what about this then? Does it have to have line of sight? Or can it be blocked? Does that work? No? Can't be blocked. Okay, well in that case we have to get rid of these then. And do this instead. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten right there. Maybe we figure out power somehow. Or... Yeah, maybe power can come up the back here and just follow the item conduits. Bangers, beans, and mash. Oh, it's been a while since I've had that. A very, very long time since I've had that. It won't work either. Wait, didn't, isn't this the way we had it down here? Yeah, we do have it like this. Where are the item lasers going to go? We don't need item lasers if we're doing passive. This should work, right? I'm I'm like 90% sure this works. Did you manage to get energy? Oh yeah, we didn't check that thing again, but yeah, I think we did. We did manage to fix energy. 380 years to fill it. Yeah, Exa, I, th I think this does work like this. Maybe let's try a recipe. What can we try here? The dislocator? Let's try it. Just to make sure that we're on the same page here. Or science. Or draconium. A 
Of course. But it doesn't say invalid recipe. It doesn't say invalid recipe, so this should really work. This really should work if we have everything configured. And the correct pedestal tier. Yeah. And I think we can actually remove these bottom conduits as well. Since they're now sharing in the middle. Well, I guess this one is required. And then we can do this to have one interface per recipe. Yeah, now we just have to have to copy this like 15 million times. Okay, how do we do this easily? Yeah, let's go out this way. Try to put blo blocks on the bottom injectors. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Then more tier 7s, let's go. Let's see how long it takes us to build one of these things, one of these segments. These conduits are killing me today. <laughs> oh, they're so thin. Who designed these like this? Okay, and this should be the second ones. Yep. Uh, I don't know if it's better to go on the inside or the outside. I don't know what's faster. Maybe inside is faster, I'm thinking. Yeah, and the next one's on top of this. Item conduit as well. And interface. Here. And then fusion, clock, fusion. And stack a million of these things.
Yeah, we do need higher crafting, crafting pedestals. But you know what, guys? It's been six and a half hours. I think we're going to call the stream here. I don't think there is anything else time critical that we need to do right now. We did get a lot of this base torn up. We need to move the micro miner still, but uh, yeah, in the next episodes, we'll be working towards getting these passive. Words you didn't want to hear, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't keep going forever. Oh, that's the end song. It's the end. It's a fitting song. Uh, yeah. We're approaching the end of the pack as well, so, uh... I, I kind of don't want it to end anymore. I'm I'm kind of getting invested here. I'm uh, I'm starting to like this base now. As weird as it is, the lawn base with the chickens. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you all for hanging out today. These assembly lines are hard at work. Floating flat squares, yeah, exactly. Has some charm to it. Anyways, thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate you all. Have a good one. And I'll see you next episode. Take care, everyone. <laughs>